We're back. We are. We're back. It's I am December. shaven. <laughs> you, sh you, were, you had a beard last time. I it's, did. It's now December. I'm finally getting around to actually editing the honeymoon videos and I'm having a lot of fun. And we're at the point where we're at the point where we need to describe more what is going on. We're on February 12th. February 12th, which I believe was our second day in Taiwan. So February 12th. In my notes in my journal, I have written down. So we woke up early on February 12th, 2016, in Taiwan, in the mountain apartment. Ryan and Emmett and I went for a walk. We saw the area around the apartment. There was a little park with tennis. There was a huge court. statue of Chiang Kai-shek. There was a, uh, a little foot massage path with little rocks in, like sort of cemented into the ground that you were meant to take your shoes off and walk along, and it's sort of a foot massage. That was really a lot of fun. It made me very aware of the fact that my feet are extremely... Uh, <laughs> it was very tickly. Yeah. Um, so that was really cool. We stopped by a little market. Like, it was sort of like a 7-Eleven in the U.S., but it was like a little Taiwanese market. We got real soy milk, which is like soy milk that's been cooked a certain way from the Mini Mart. Um, Ryan wanted us to try it just because it's very different than the soy milk that we get here in the U.S. It so was good. I, I think the texture was different. Yeah. So that was cool. Then we went back to the apartment for breakfast and tea. Lots of tea. Um, for really breakfast, good tea. For breakfast, Ryan's parents made chicken soup with taro and rice and chicken, obviously. Which was, was also incredible. It was really good. The taro isn't something that we cook with a lot in the U.S., especially it was sort of like chunks of taro, like um, like potatoes, sort of. Um, it really was good. really good, and I have to say, Taiwanese chicken, we ate a lot of chicken in Taiwan, and I do not regret that, because Taiwanese chicken is tasty. It was very tasty chicken. <laughs> um, so we had tea on the balcony with Ryan's dad, and we went through like the tea ceremony, and he was explaining the little um, the teacups and the teapots and just all you just... The sky eye. The sky eye? Yeah, so the teacups oh, yeah. were from different ages. So one of the teacups was the sky eye uh, style, I think. Okay. I know there were a lot of different styles. I don't, yeah. I don't remember all the details, but it was really, yeah, it was a lot of fun just to like go through the whole process of pouring the tea and warming the cups and, and all of that. Um, then after we had tea, we went up to the roof of the building, which is a couple more stories up, and then we had uh, like a 360 degree view of the whole mountain area, which is just absolutely beautiful. So then we went to uh, Yangming Mountain National Park, Yangming Shen National Park. Um, I have written down beautiful scenery, dormant, steaming, sulfurous volcano. <laughs> yeah, so while we were driving up the mountain, Ryan and his uh, folks were talking about the volcano, and uh, he told me that when he was younger, uh, you could actually go up to it. So, you know, when we were driving up, I was thinking that we were going to get to like this huge like mountaintop crater. And like you see in movies. So like you see in movies. Yeah. And like those do exist. But So this was like a fissure in the side of the mountain with smoke pouring out of it. Mm -hmm. And, so and you, you, could, you could smell kind of the sulfur in the air around it. It was neat. Yeah, and so you can't get that close to it anymore, but apparently... Well, I think uh, you can if you want to. We just... we, no, the, we road, the road went near it. Didn't he say They've got it so you can't hike too they? close to oh, it. Well, that's probably... Maybe I'm wrong. That's probably a good thing. Yeah. Um... Let's see, uh, Lily Gardens, local, locally grown specialty vegetables. So yeah, the area around the mountain, it was sort of like farmland in the park and just like little farms and they were, they were growing lily flowers, which is just absolutely gorgeous just in these. Well, so there was like a, 
an interface between the park and then private land. Yeah, they were kind and of mixed together. It, yeah, so they were like, I can't tell if some of the small farms were in the park or if they had been farming there. So like, I think some of what it was is the families had owned the land and the park had kind of expanded around them. Right, for, because the, um, the restaurant that we went to, they said the vegetables in the restaurant had been grown in the park. So that was all in the parkland that we were walking around looking at the, yeah. the farmland, I think. But I think it's because the re so like the restaurant, they were not allowed to improve the structure in any way. They can't build anything on the park's land, so they couldn't expand and add like a nicer kitchen or add bathrooms or add like sturdier walls or they couldn't make the building itself any bigger. So it was sort of added this like this ambiance of like like kind of down to earth chaos, straight out of the ground kind of vibe to the the kitchen. And there was there was a crowd of people. We had to wait for about an hour. Yeah. because there was a crowd of people just waiting to get in. This was like the most popular restaurant I have ever seen. So we kind of put our names in on the wait list and then we went and walked around and saw some of the areas and the gardens and the farms and the chickens and that was like a really gorgeous, gorgeous views. And then um, we went- I would use chicken, seriously. <laughs> and then we went and we got to go into the restaurant and that was utter, utter chaos and the food just kept coming and, and Ryan's family was, I don't know if they were ordering or if oh, you they just were sit ordering. down and yeah. So no, they, they knew exactly what to order and. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, oh yeah, you uh, do have written down that you got pictures of the kitchen. Yeah, I think I went back to the kitchen a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. And so the space was just fantastic. I mean, so the structure, I want to say, is probably from like the 50s or 60s, and like they haven't been able to expand or repair or anything, and this is like one of the most popular restaurants I've ever seen, like constant flow of people. It's just probably hundreds and of people every day. So like the wait list was Uncle. Uncle was this man who was standing, and I think he actually was kind of like the brother of the some family, relative of some the family. relative, and he was like this old uh, Taiwanese guy with like glasses. He looked just like one of my uncles, and he had the same kind of like curmudgeonly temperament. And he was just like constantly shouting, constantly barking, and like he just like I think the wait list was in his head. Yeah. So he was just calling people's names and like pointing over here and yep. just yeah just running around like crazy. Hey, we're here at... What's the name of the place? Oh, what's the name of the place? Oh, it's just called Vegetable oh, Restaurant. Vegetable <laughs> Restaurant. <laughs> you want to go get the kitchen? Do you want to go get the kitchen? Oh, it's okay. You don't have to. One of the very famous signature dish this restaurant they eat. We ate rice, chicken, dragon and phoenix vegetables, gentleman bamboo, soft cabbage, soup with chicken, blackfoot, bitter melon, sweet potato soup. So that, that was the food. Oh, I think we got some footage of the food. They came out with sweet potatoes kind of as an appetizer mm -hmm. almost. Um, and they, it was just like stewed sweet potatoes. Yeah, they were like they were a, really a medium pale yellow. They were very, very sweet. It was really good. A everything there was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's uh, when I say the food was simple, I don't mean it in a bad way. It was uncomplicated. It was uncomplicated, but it let the flavors of the vegetables really come out, which I know sounds like very pretentious, but it's, okay. that's the best way of... <laughs> It was really, That's the really best good. way of saying it. Like, what what you were there for was the quality of the ingredients, mm -hmm. and that's what you got. Yeah. So it's a one type of. To fern? Oh, fern. Yeah. yeah okay. Fern. One type of fern. So yarn is like. Yeah. yeah. Sweet potato. Juice. 